Well, now that we know what views is and does, let's go ahead and create some views. In the upcoming videos, we're going to create a page with teasers, a simple block view, a table with fields, and a photo gallery. These are pretty much the standard views you might create on a simple Drupal site. We are not going into all of the complex areas of views since this is just an introductory class. But the ones we are going to do, I think, will be really helpful. Click on Structure and scroll down to click on Views. Now, Drupal has a lot of built-in views. For instance, the Content view allows administrators to administer our content. Same thing with Custom Block Library, Files, Front Page, People, Recent Comments, Recent Content, Taxonomy Terms, Who's New, and Who's Online. These are all views that come with Drupal and are available for you to update or edit. There's also a couple of disabled views, an archive of content by month, and a glossary view, which is actually kind of fun. It gives us a A to Z across the top of the screen, and when you click on a letter, well, it shows you the content that starts with that letter. We're going to create, first off, a simple page with teasers. This is going to be a landing page for our events content type. Click Add New View, and let's call this just plain old events. Change the content of type all to events, and we'll leave it at the newest first. Click Create a Page. We'll leave it as an unformatted list of teasers since we've already set up the teaser mode in our Manage Display. And let's create a menu link in the main navigation. This is going to be a quick and simple way to see all of the events that we've added to our site. Click Save and Edit. And now you have access to the screen that we mentioned in the introduction. Display is a page. Format is an unformatted list of teasers. We don't need any fields here because we've set up our teaser mode. The filter is published events. And the sort is the publication date or the authoring date descending from newest to oldest. If you scroll down, you'll see a quick overview of what that's going to look like. Now, if you don't like this, well, it's simple to change. And we'll demonstrate that in another video. For now, Go ahead and click Save, head out to your site. You have a new tab in the main menu called Events. And here's a listing of all of your events. And actually, that doesn't look too bad at all. You'll notice the logos are different shapes and sizes, and that's pretty true of most logos. You have the event website and the event date. And again, you would update this in your teaser mode for the event's content type if you wanted it to be different. Well, how simple can that be? We're done. There's a landing page for all of your events.